biggest secret in the entire universe is no longer a secret. And that's what we're looking at, patches on the surface. Makes no sense that patches would be there. If they're there, it's because it's either an occurrence, natural phenomenon, or somebody put that whatever there. But why are they over the structures? Do you see the elevation? This took, I mean, let's take a really good look. In the center here, we see some feet um, standing up, holding up things, and the patches are over all over the place. This is upside down, so you can see it uh, the other way, and you can clearly see that there was maybe a cataclysmic event, maybe an avalanche, maybe it's snow accumulation, it's trees. I have no idea, but it's a blurry uh, area which runs all along and over each and every crater on the moon, each and every crater. Showed you the towers here the other day, but look at the 90 degree angle, pipes. These pipes, look carefully, you'll see a thin line. It crosses straight across into the other crater, which is also eaten away, right? This is all chipped away. Why? Why are all these cuts being done on the surface? Why 90 degree angles? Look at this ridge at the back of Copernicus Crater, right on the plateau. Could have been built for them to drive themselves around, right? Why not? It looks like a mining excavating uh, surface. It looks like that's exactly what they were doing, was maybe excavating, mining, doing something, whether it be ancient or recent, I don't know. There's Copernicus Crater. I love showing this one. This is um, the objects, uh, natural or not, definitely not natural. Look at that. You don't know what it is, right? But you see this angle going, veering around, round. It's, it's listen, if it ain't cement, okay, it's definitely something symmetrical. You could see the clear dark line around it, another a substance or another uh, material used for the building. You could see the construction material when you look at these objects. You look around and you see a pattern reoccurring. Here there's a very thin line that's going over top of that tunnel-like object that's going into the ground. Here another one we'll see that looks like it's going into the ground and you can see it right there in the center. I'll get a little star up for you there you go and you can see it going into the ground whether it be a tunnel or structure entering the ground i don't know but you see another one veering off here i mean holy crap is it a train station i mean what are we looking at and we're not looking at something very very small so these large built constructed objects if i mean who builds large objects either they're giants and they're not many of them or they're billions of people up there and these massive companies are producing something or were producing something and we can clearly see on the moon all these signs of manipulation the world's not biting the world is definitely not biting but when they do they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna be surprised when they admit that there are all these objects on the moon. So since I know in my head, here's Copernicus Crater, another tunnel, more structuring 90 degree angles, I know for a fact they'll never be able to hide it. So it's a matter of when and how they are going to explain that there are structures up there. Are they gonna tell us that the structures uh, were there, uh, that they didn't know about it? Are they gonna tell us it was uh, part of a human civilization because we used to be from the moon? Who knows? But imagine the possibilities. They're gonna have to freaking say something. This is not going to stay hidden for 20 years. And again, I'm still surprised it's remained hidden for four years. Look under the clouds on the moon. Watch the dusts, hazes move around. There's blinking lights, there's objects. And these structures with these long shafts going to them or long corridors or structures, it has to be because either there's no oxygen maybe, right? On the moon, if there wasn't any oxygen, they'd be traveling through that. A, a closed, airtight, living world on the moon, right? Airtight. Maybe they're very, very advanced in technology. We know our ancient people that were here on Earth were far more advanced than us. No one's going to ever tell me the opposite of that. Right. The comet changing directions. Last shot that I showed you, the comet today, the tw uh, yesterday, the 22nd, was closest to Earth. It was raining here and cloudy. I didn't get it. 
but let's take a look at the shot I got a couple days before and look at the angle change. That's right, directional change in the asteroid. I'm not trying to make anything up here, but we're going to look at a little swift or, or, or drooping of this asteroid where it seems to be going face to face with the comet, like crossing paths, but then it seems to veer and you're going to see it right here. It veers upwards. Watch on the bottom. It'll veer upwards and almost turn like it's going to cut off the comet. Either there's someone driving that or it's an asteroid that broke up because it was pulled in by that comet. It's gravitational pull. Look at that, turning right around. See that? It's just literally turning around. <laughs> it looks like it did a directional, literal directional change, the comet. Now here we see it forward and backwards and we'll see it uh, breaking up. The induced magnetosphere around the comet is pushing against the solar wind. And again, I'm going to show you that change in, in directions from the asteroid, which, looks, which looked like it was going to go past crossing paths, like side by side with the comet, and then you see this literal drastic turn and I think what that did by changing its direction it it broke up something happened to this object's orbit and we can see it here doing a big swoop at the bottom and then crossing up uh, going across the uh, the comet and exploding infrared UFOs last night observing Neowise ever notice how these UFOs um, when you're filming them with an infrared camera those who do all the light phenomena and the crap that occurs to your camera when you're filming these lights my camera goes off a lot it'll turn off when I get the flashes from these uh, objects and sometimes it just gives me back an error uh, message I look here yeah, again, it could be just the clouds. It picks up light, right? There's no mystery about it. It's a camera. But still, sometimes weird phenomena in the sky occurs that doesn't occur on other nights. Like right now, no clouds in the sky and we can see this fuzz, right? And I can't help but wonder if it's those UFOs trying to blind, um, you know, people on the surface from filming them. This is a star pointing up to the big dipper in the handle my friends to get a look at one of the stars in the handle of the big dipper and then after that before finishing the video we're going to go to the surface of the moon and to look at some interesting flashing lights So I always see these intriguing events, phenomena on the surface that I don't know what's occurring. Two dots right now beside, I have no idea what that spot is. That black spot is moving on the surface and there are other lights around it. So there's a cloud cover. Those of you just arriving to the channel, there's a cloud cover on the moon, whether natural or not, dusts, hazes, I don't care. All I know is that there are objects underneath that are in movement, whether they are on the surface traveling or in the sky in the moon's atmosphere i don't know but they're under the hazes and we could see them and they're not small really not small don't forget if we're seeing objects being picked up they're at least a mile wide at the ratio that i'm at with my 14 inch and we see moving objects no not just one no not two three or four lots of them and we see different shapes and sizes they're doing different things. Some of them are letting off a smoke around them, which intrigues me because I've never seen it uh, on any other channel. I've never seen NASA talk about these objects. The only uh, incident I saw NASA showing me aliens was the tether incident where the tether broke off an STS mission and you could clearly see jellyfish like objects flying around in space. Well, let me tell you, we also see some leaving the moon when we look at my uh, footage and these objects are really there watch this mysterious light go towards another illuminated point on the surface right now it's just in front of it and boom 
He goes over top of that object and then very slowly continues its path off towards another way. And again, if there's a track on the surface or something, some type of transportation where they're, you know, getting around down there, we'll never know it. Hey, four years of research. I got alien beings on the moon, biological creatures, meteors, asteroids, comets. I, I even got Neil Weiss comet, actually. Houston, say again, please.